Hi, I'm Gandalf Clark. I'm Ellen Clark. And, and we're, we're the, the Clarks. Clarks. Hi, guys. So I'm, I'm sure you might have seen, especially on TikTok and also on YouTube shorts, everybody is attacking the Met Gala, okay? I... I actually have just been starting to learning learn about fashion. Okay, we have for a secret project. For a secret project, is I don't know how secret it is. Is it secret? It's, it's, it's kind of secret right now. Is it? Yeah, it's, 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 it's in very early stages. It's, it's so early that it might not take place for ten early years. Stages. It might not happen for ten years. At okay. This point, but yeah. It's very early stages. When I was a kid, I used to love looking at fashion magazines and all of that. But as I grew older. And, you know, I dress for comfort, as in this hoodie and a nightgown underneath. Um, I dress for comfort. But I appreciate fashion. But on TikTok and on YouTube shorts, people are using the Hunger Games sound. The, um, are you, are you, I don't know, coming to the tree. I don't know, I remember all the words right now. Do you, do you remember? It was the hanging tree. The hanging tree. The hanging tree. Right. Remember, I have hearing loss, so I can't remember everything in lyrics. That song, right? And then the image they're showing is Zendaya in her crazy bird dress that she wore to the Met Gala. Okay? Now, she did have three looks during the Met Gala. Okay? And people are not liking her right now. People are not liking any of the actors. People are not liking any of the people who went to the Met Gala. And I want to tell you guys why I think that the Met Gala is super important, and I did not have any of these views before this past year, okay? This is all because I've been learning about fashion, okay? I am even digging into the roots of fashion, okay? Like, way back in World War II, I'm learning about Dior, Chanel, you know? I'm learning about all of these famous people who I never gave a crap about before because I was just like, I'm never going to be able to afford any of this stuff, okay? I do have super cute purses from Shutterfly, or Loungefly, sorry, I can't even remember that, Loungefly. Shutterfly is a photography thing. Yes. Um, I was in Disney World, um, and I, I found these purses, and they were like over $100, and I was like, oh, my God, I love these purses. So I went on Amazon, <laughs> And I found the church, the purses for like 20, 40 bucks. 60 was like the, the most expensive one. Okay. So I got them for way cheaper than, than they were at Disney. And so that's how I collect stuff. I get yeah. it majorly on sale. Like I like Doc Martens. That's not how I collect stuff. But I don't get them until they're on mm. sale. Like I got some really cute purple uh, sandal slides that were originally like 80 bucks. I got them for 30 Okay, and I wear these things every day. I got a black pair, I got a purple pair, and it helps me not go barefoot around the house, which is really good. Um, so I don't spend a ton of money on fashion, okay, but I do know it's important to spend your money on quality products so that they last a long time, okay? That's something that my parents always instilled in me. We got these secret lab chairs that our dear friend Jinx put together for us because we are not mechanically inclined whatsoever. But we did a lot of research because the chairs that were given to me by my old job, you know, that were falling apart when they gave them to us, um, fell all the way apart. And we were like, we well, need... we had them for like 15 years or We something. did. And, and the bank was throwing them out. They were just going to put them in the trash. And I was like, please, can I have them? You know? And then the cats clawed the crap out of them. You know? And then we finally broke down and got these really nice chairs for ourselves. You know? We had gotten one in between recommended by uh, uh, someone else we knew. But mm -hmm. it, uh, he also recommended our grill. And that thing's falling apart, too. Yeah. So it's, yeah. I, but, I don't take his recommendations. We do, we do try to buy quality stuff, you know. Um, so the reason why, I don't think everybody understands, like, the fashion stuff, okay? So I'm going to explain it to you, okay? Number one, the Met Gala. Why? Why do we have the Met Gala, okay? The Met Gala is a, a, it's, it's a, it's a fundraiser, okay? When people have money rich people they have events so that they can 
raise money for other things, okay? And they want to make it fun. They want to make it fun for the people, you know? So they charge $75,000 to go, okay? And that covers the expenses of the Met Gala, okay? All of the people who work there have jobs because of the Met Gala. If you watched the Met Gala, you would have seen that each famous person had like five to ten people around them helping them move their dress, helping them get out of the limos. Some people were even carried in body bags because they could not move in their dresses. I mean, I don't know if you saw Lizzo. She was supposed Wait, to be a treat. Some people were carried in body bags? Yes, because they could not move. They could not move their legs. Okay. Lizzo was like so tight. Nobody Fashion knew what function. she was. Some people are like, what, was she a mushroom? She was supposed to be a tree, okay? So every year the Met Gala has a theme. This year, this past year, it was the Garden of Time, which is actually a fiction book, a fiction story, which is free to read. If you go and you just type in the internet, the Garden of Time, um, it's actually, uh, you know, a famous story. And they were raising money for an exhibit called Sleeping Beauties. So the theme theme were those two things. So people dressed in things having to do with flowers and things having to do with Sleeping Beauty. But what exactly is Sleeping Beauties? Because not everybody 100% understood the theme. Sleeping Beauties theme had to do with what they were raising money for. They wanted to get money so that they could preserve old fashioned okay so everybody remembers audrey hepburn wearing that beautiful black and white gown designed by dior okay things like that need to be preserved because the thing is clothing as as anyone has known who has bought clothing it starts uh it starts degrading you put it in the wash it gets holes in it you put too many shirts in the dryer what happens in the wash in the wash the dryer doesn't they they get dry. holes it gets ripped in the dryer it just doesn't off. dry right but if yeah. if you put too many shirts in the washing machine yes shit gets fucked up the biggest controversy in fact at the Met Gala should have been i think it was Kim Kardashian 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 wore a dress that she did not fit into. It was actually an old dress. And because she was too big for the dress, she couldn't zip it up in the back. So she wore this, like, thing around it. And people didn't understand, but she had this sweater, and she was, like, holding it. And that was supposed to be showing that the sweater was, like, an old sweater. And people just didn't really understand it all. And the, and the dress had gotten somewhat damaged during the show. That's what people should be upset about. People should be upset about the fact that she was wearing a piece that should be being preserved. Okay? Um, but you, just like any other part of our history, it's really important to preserve fashion, mm -hmm. okay? And I didn't understand how important fashion was until I started researching it for my project. Number one, why is fashion important? Fashion is, fashion is important because people look at you and determine who you are based on your fashion. Okay, number one, look at me and Gandalf, okay? Look at our hair, okay? What, do you, what can you tell about us? Number one, we don't give a shit what y'all think okay that's the first thing okay we both have long hair hasn't been cut in ages because we have no fucking money okay second of all i ran out of regular conditioner so i just started using the blue conditioner <laughs> the hair coloring conditioner that that means i really don't give a I shit got more conditioner since then. i know but my hair wasn't fully blue yet so i just decided to continue on because it was a little bit green last week so i just decided to continue on finish with the blue coloring what else? Casual, you know, we just wear t-shirts, pants, whatever, you know, but we're presenting ourselves in this way on purpose. We're saying we're comfortable with ourselves. This is how we want to present ourselves to the world. But if we're meeting with important business people, how do we dress? That's a good point. Yeah. We wear jackets. We wear dress pants. Okay. We wear dress shirts. I don't even okay. have a jacket right now. I know, but you do wear a dress shirt. Yeah. I you have wear a dress, a dress shirt. shirt. You make sure your hair is tied back. I make sure my, my hair is like. My jacket's from back when I was a little thinner, you know, so. 
Yeah. I would put my hair up in a way that, you know, looked tidy, you know, such and such. You know, I probably wouldn't wear my Deadpool earrings, you know. I mean, you could. That's not, I that's could. Not, that, that just shows you're, you're fun and you, you know, like something. But it fashion is a way for people to communicate who they are, mm -hmm. right? That's why fashion is important, you know? And especially it's, it's important in diverse communities. For example, if you're a person of color and you go around in, in, in you know, casual clothes all the time, people will not take you seriously. It's, un it's extremely unfortunate, but people of color have to dress in suits and dress in really nice clothes because if they don't, then people will be like, oh, they, they are not, you know, contributing to society or they don't know what they're talking about. They're like uneducated, you know, or, you know, they're running around the neighborhood in their shorts and they get pulled over by the police. Okay. So that is why fashion is important. Although, yeah, that's, it's really, it's really important to have a way of, of, of uh, expressing yourself. Mm -hmm. and, this, and fashion gives you a way of outwardly expressing yourself to everyone. Mm -hmm. That's why there's so many different types of, of, uh, of fashion out there. There's goth fashion. There's, you know, there's, there's just regular fashion. Just, you know, there's all kinds of different fashions out there. Yeah, and you shouldn't be mad at the artists, first of all. The fashion artists, it's their job, just like it is our job as writers and editors and content creators, for us to experiment and try different things. Right now, um, Jinx, our head of production, they are learning all these different photo techniques yep. that other people have tried in the past. And what's happening is they're, they're coming up w with ways to take photos that they want to do that no one else has ever tried before. That needs to be preserved. OK, like this zipper on this hoodie. Right. Someone in fashion came up with this at some point. Someone on the runway. OK, put this into a skirt or a pant or something. And they were like, you know what? This design of this zipper would be perfect for casual fashion. They stole that from somebody who had it on the runway. You know? So that is why fashion is important. Now, you're calling on all these people like Zendaya. and Okay, so the hosts were Zendaya, Jennifer Lopez, Bad Bunny, and Chris Hemsworth. 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 These are like our favorite people, you know? This, these, this, these are people we have spent money on seeing mm -hmm. them in movies. We've seen them in music. We have our Apple Music subscription. Mm -hmm. uh, no matter how poor we get, if we were even sleeping outside, I know that's really horrible and we would hope that would never happen, we would have our Apple Music subscription, okay? Because it makes us so happy to be able to listen to whatever music we want to be able to we listen to. We haven't until our phones got stolen by other, other yeah. homeless people. Now, <sighs> these people did this theme, they did this Met Gala because they wanted to raise money to preserve the fashion ideas so that when the young fashion designers go into the Met Gala exhibits, they can say, oh, this is where this idea came from. This idea of, you know, putting flowers into a dress that's inside of a crazy ass balloon. Yeah, no one's going to wear this dress. It's extremely impractical, but... 10 years down the road, there's going to be a dress that's sold at Target for $10, and you're going to want to pick it up because a designer 20 years ago came up with the idea of putting this plasticky yellow with this pastel -y orange, okay? That, that came from somewhere. Someone had to invent it. And many designers are taken on by, you know, these large corporations to create new things. Um, I had been watching Making the Cut, and that show is all about how Amazon is giving grants to people to make fashion that's affordable, that appeals to a lot of people. And although, you know, it's really difficult, our relationship with Amazon, I think Making the Cut was a great show. <laughs> it's not Making the Cunt. It's Making the Cut. <laughs> Um, I lived in Scotland. Sometimes that word just comes out. I apologize. It's not, it's actually an affectionate term there. 
Um, oh, you can't. But <laughs> the thing is, this is why I think, you know, it's not, they're not s- district one, okay? Fashion designers are not district one. I've been watching the show called A New Look. It's on a- it's on Apple TV. And it talks about how Christian Dior and uh, Coco Chanel had so many problems during World War II. And they were both seen as, you know, Nazi sympathizers to an extent. Because they were trying to work and they were trying to continue fashion during the war. And even after the war they were seen by people as not being the greatest people. But if you understand their stories, you can understand they were trying to keep fashion alive. And Coco Chanel did some very questionable things. But you know what? We still know her today. And we still know Christian Dior today. And it's really important to know what happened how how has fashion come about and what did they struggle through because these people did not have a lot of money they they struggled and they they put all of themselves into their art just like we do okay and they had to have people who believed in them to be their fundraisers to say we care enough to have you make dresses we care enough to have you make perfume and it's 2024 now, and those artists are still in our history, like Van Gogh. That's their, their equivalent to that. And that's why the Met Gala needs to happen. That's why, you know, beautiful Zendaya had three outfit changes. Look, guys, we shouldn't be attacking her for how beautiful she is or how many opportunities she has. We should be celebrating her because she is a fashion icon who has so many talents. She can act. She can model. She can sing. She can bring people together. Just like, um, what's her name from Harry Potter? Um, Emma, Emma, Emma Watson. Watson, yeah, she's, Emma Watson she, yeah. she can be just as powerful as Emma Watson, okay? But on top of all that, she's a, she's a diverse person. She's very, very, very young, okay? And we should be celebrating the fact that the world is interested in what she's doing, okay? We should be celebrating the fact that someone who is body diverse like Lizzo is in that show, okay? And, you know, we should be celebrating the fact that there are so many older actors and models that were invited, you know, people like the the lady from Sex and the City. Um, I cannot remember her name right now. You guys know I'm bad with names. Jessica. Jessica Parker. Parker. Right. Yeah, Jessica Parker. You know, and her outfit was right on theme. I was extremely happy because she used antique pieces to make something that was exactly fit with the Garden of Time. Her purse was like a cage, like a birdcage almost and it was absolutely adorable and that's the thing that you guys need to understand is yes a lot of people are unfortunate right now okay and a lot of people are in a bad situation we're at war okay but if we don't take the time to preserve what the artists are working on and the past we're going to lose it. We need to have this piece of history put in there. We need to have it preserved. And it costs a lot of money to not have light, to not have air, to, to have space for these antique pieces. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We hope you understand why fashion is important. And we hope that maybe you'll give some consideration and maybe that you'll also think about the people who are doing the modeling and the acting and the singing and why they believe that the Met Gala is important. Yeah. And this is coming from someone who doesn't even have one penny. Okay. So this is content with courage, baby. Like it or not, it's here to stay. Have a great day, guys.